You see, we're in the perilous last days, I believe that with all my heart. And one of the characteristics, one of the signs of those perilous last days, when Paul wrote to Timothy, and he said, in those perilous last days, right? In the last days, perilous times will come. He said, men will be lovers of self. Men will be lovers of money. Men will be lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. It goes on, you know, 2 Timothy chapter 3. Look at it. What happens is lovers of self, that's that's just a, a, a different way of saying selfish. Yes. Okay. Or, or prideful. Well, because it's... it's you're focusing well, on your, you're, your own needs. You love yourself yeah. because you think more of yourself than you ought to. Mm -hmm. You think more of yourself than you do of that brother over there or that sister over there. And the Word of God says, don't do that. Don't think more of them than you are. More, you know, you should think less of yourself than you do of them. That's what the Word of God says. It's clear. So where is it in the church? You know, we're in a time when I see upside down stewardship being taught in the church. Yes. What I mean by that is that so much of the church today is teaching a selfish giving mm -hmm. that is not giving at all. You know, planting a seed. And entrusting God with what belongs to you. This is, I, I want to tell you, I know that it says in the Gospel of Luke, Jesus said, give and it shall be given to you. The question is, what are you giving? You know, if you're giving $10 to this, are you giving $10 or are you giving love? You see, God is not sitting there with the little things on his arms and a little green. Meaning. He's not an accountant. He is love. And his concern is love. And now you need to go to Romans, to, to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and look at what love is. All right? It's not selfish. It's not self-serving. It's giving. So, and he, Paul says, if you, if you do, if you give everything, but don't have love, you're nothing. You're a climbing symbol. That's right. Okay? When people are tithing or giving in order to get back more of the same money, that's not love. And I'm going to tell you, that's upside-down stewardship. Half of these preachers that I hear talking about, well, plant your seed, and God is going to multiply. You know, that's like, that's like getting a, an, what you're doing is you're entrusting money to God and trusting Him to be a steward to return more to you. And if that's not upside-down giving, I simply don't know what is. He is becoming your banker. Well, your yeah, he's becoming your servant. Your investment advisor. He's becoming your servant. Mm -hmm. He is managing money on your behalf. That's what you're looking for him to do. Rather than understanding that he's given us stewardship of what belongs to him. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. You don't own anything. That's right. He has given us stewardship. He has not given us ownership. If you don't like that, go Talk and write comments. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah. Either go on our Facebook page and write your comments. Or write, you can email, email Jesus at heaven.com and see what he has to say to you. Is ownership, stewardship, and possession somewhere on the Bible site? It probably is. Okay. That's, that's a study that I did on that, on that topic, uh, which really is very worthwhile. Yes. But the, it boils down to when you're giving, is your, is your focus, are you giving the dollars? And then I would ask, if you're giving dollars, are you giving it to get more? Or are you giving love? Because, you know, Jesus talked about giving without seeking return. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a fact. Like, like, like gravity is a law of God that when you give, God's going to give back to you. But if you're giving love, he's going to give you back more love. Because the money doesn't matter. I was, he will supply all of your needs through his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I was just thinking about the crisis and the tragedy in Nepal. And there are so many people that are giving, and I'm sure it's not because well, they're looking for something in return. Well, there's out of yes, I know. Amen. And that's that should be our motivation, right. because that's the motivation of love. And that should be the way all the time. It should be the way all the time. So when somebody a preacher abuses that, that's one of the most <clears throat> destructive things, Absolutely. not only to the church but to the individual that is giving the he's. 
he is corrupting that individual. Yes. Okay. It's, and that's meaning to it all through the church today. Yes. You know, planting a seed. Yeah. Just just remember, it's about love. It's not about the money. And if you're keeping track, you know, I gave $10 to God. He owes me, a, you know, a thousand. Get over it. It's right. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. 